don't know how to introduce yourself in your real estate videos, don't know how to stop and what to say, then give me five minutes and I will walk you through our step-by-step -step process, how we are creating our videos so that we can fill our pipeline with at least 500 to 1,000 people watching our videos. And if you want to have our framework that I have created in our step-by-step -step guide with more explainer videos, then comment below frame and I will make sure I will send you that guide so that you can have 500 to 1,000 people watch your video in a week just for you by watching this video. Hello, Chris Scott and guten Tag. My name is Annette Block. I am the owner of a deal a day pipeline.com where I have helped over 2000 agents with video marketing and cost effective advertising strategies so that they can grow their business in any market. And when it comes to video, many don't know how to stop and how to introduce themselves in their video. And today you learn how easy it can be an introduction and a structure of your video. Right now, probably maybe you do, hello, it's me, my name is so and so, and then you go in the video, or you say in this video, but my name is and my name is and da da da. That is how you may be doing it right now and you double along, but you want to have a structure where you want to capture people's attention and then keep people's attention. When you learn a script, then you learn the script, but cannot focus on the content of your video because you are more focused on the script that you learned but you don't know about the content that you want to provide because at the end, when you follow a framework, you talk about what you know and your videos get much, much easier and you don't even need a script anymore. So let's jump in right now. When it comes to our videos, we are starting with an attention cropping headline because we know people attention takes three seconds. They make a decision if they watch our video or if they don't watch our video and scroll by. When they make the decision to watch our videos, the next step, I want to make sure that they know why they should watch this video and what they will get out of the video. And now they know they, I cut their attention. Now they know why the video. And in the next step, there is coming my introduction and telling them why I own the right to do this video, why I am an expert in that video. That is where you do your introduction pretty quick and you move on because time is costly when it comes to video. Now that you have everything through, that should be 15 seconds, those three first steps. And now you are going into your next solution. You are now telling the solution you have to get the, their problem why they are watching your videos. Now you are telling a story and in your story, you now go a little bit deeper why and show them the steps you are taking to help them in their situation or with their problem. Now you're showing them that you are an expert and you are showing them the steps so that you are the right person to help them with their problem. And that's why they watch the video in the first place to find a solution you make them interested in in your headline. And ending your video, it depends how and where you use your videos. When we are talking to a cold audience, meaning to people that don't know and never heard of us, now I give my video a call to action, meaning I tell them the exact next step I want them to take so they understand what the next step is. If somebody watched my videos over and over again and they are already in my world, it depends if I want to use a call to action or not. That is a decision I make when it comes to placing the video into my video funnel. Now, when we are talking to call, I definitely do a call to action, tell everyone 
what next step is to take. And now you have a structure you can follow and you easily can follow along, fill in what you want to say in a few bullet points, in a few steps, and voila, you know your headline, you know your introduction, you know why people should watch your video, you put your introduction right in here, then you tell about the solution, your story, how you can help them, and the next step they want to take. And if you want to have a little bit more detailed information, I have in this step-by-step -step process or in our step-by-step -step video framework, then put down below this video frame and I will make sure I will send you our framework that includes more explainer videos so that you can create your first video or your next video with ease, know how to introduce yourself and have people watch your videos next week of at least 500 to 1,000 people.